Yo, yo, Arik, Arik, Arik. So we have this new Head Speed Pro yeah. for us to review, and it's it's actually a pretty good racket. Okay. I need this racket. It's no, it's no. it's control oriented, but it's still yeah. like pretty powerful because Perfect. of the big head, Perfect. and it's endorsed by Sinner. And Arik also by Djokovic. Guys, yeah, so welcome back to Gladiators Tennis. And Arik, so who endorses this racket? Sinner, Sinner, Sinner. Right, Novak Djokovic, and it's actually also currently used by Kuze, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Offering great balance of control and power might actually end up being one of the few rackets that the three of us like. Check out this pack. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less. I'm taking all best, say less. Talking too much, say less. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less. I'm taking all best, say less. I'm a one to one, I could never be you. Little me twos, no, I can't be fooled. Little me twos, no, I hate these dudes. I'm a one to one, I could never be you. Anything you could do, I could do better. My love, don't fall in love. Thank you very much. I mean, I already know that I'm gonna like this track because have you seen Novak's backhand? Now check out mine. Yeah, man, no difference. No difference. Same results too, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same, right? All right, endorsed by Novak Djokovic, Kuzi, and me in the past, it had to be a good racket. The looks, like I usually say, are quite subjective, so I won't really get into it that much. You be the judge of that. Tell us in the comments below what you think about the design. What isn't subjective, like, at all, is the fact that a 100-inch head with an 18 by 20 string pattern is the best combination for a racket. Because you get that awesome control and feel thanks to the tightly put together strings, and at the same time the power is still decent and you can still spin the ball if you're into that kind of thing. Let's go shot by shot though, because it certainly feels better on some shots than on others. I'm going to start with the one I like the least, and that was the serve. The lack of stability and direction on the serve was actually the main reason why I picked up the Gravity Pro over the Speed Pro. I simply don't get enough information from the impact to manage to direct the ball exactly where I want it to go on the first serve. Second serve feels way better. It's quite easy to apply an adequate amount of spin to the ball to open up the court and get an upper hand in the rally. Now to the forehands. They feel alright. The forehand that I preferred the most was that running hard to get forehand where you have to come up with a solution to put the ball back into the rally. Sometimes though, you might lack a bit of power on those, especially if you're nervous and it's not your best day. That's more noticeable if you string it on the tighter side though, not so much if you string it low. It should in theory fit those who don't have a completely flat out forehand but not too spinny either. Something in between, and that's like me. But I don't really feel like it was made for my forehand. What it is absolutely made for is my backhand. Oof. Just like with my Gravity Pro, directing long cross court backhands and switching to down the line missiles is absolutely marvelous with the Speed Pro. You do have the top swim when you need it, and you still have that sweet stability on impact. Pretty much loved hitting backhands with it. Approaching the net, things stay pretty good. When it comes to the net game, the main thing that matters is the maneuverability. You know, to be able to prepare the volley quickly. And with the Speed Pro, you get exactly that. Thanks to the balance and not excessive weight, preparations happen at the blink of an eye. Same feeling on the return. I managed to get inside the court returning even the faster coming serves thanks to that quick preparation and great stability on impact. Overall awesome racket for those who want to impress their homies with missile down the line backhands and those who want a good versatile racket that can pretty much cover all of the tasks inside of our fighting arena. No, oh, Kuzi, here's the racket. Oh. These are not my rackets. 
my babies. These are my babies. This is Sharon and this is Teresa. Sharon and Teresa make out while I stay here and watch them make out. <laughs> okay guys, since Sharon and Teresa are done, let's start with the review. Let me just point out the fact that this racket looks amazing, all white. I feel like I'm playing Wimbledon or something. Personally, this is the easiest review I have ever done because I actually compete in practice with this racket. It has a lot of qualities that struck me, such as the control it provides in moments of adversity, like if I'm playing a forehand in the run or something. Also, the slices, drop shots, and shots that require touch felt insane in my point of view. Okay, starting with the most important shot in the game, the half volley. Nah, sorry, my bad. I just love half volleys. It's serve. Obviously, it's the serve. I was serving really good before I used this racket, but now I'm serving as if Sampras and Kyrgios had a baby and Opelka raised it. The power and control this racket provides in the serve is unlike any racket I've ever played with, especially on the T-serve. It's basically unreturnable. Unfortunately, the kick serves and the slice serves didn't felt as good, but I imagine that's because of the string pattern. 18 by 20 is not the best for the kick serves. I would say my forehand is my safe shot. I might not have a killer forehand, but I try to be as solid as possible. This racket helped my forehand to be much stronger with the swing weight that it provides. I could be more aggressive with the same amount of control I had before. Obviously, the more aggressive you get, the risks of missing increases, so it's always better to be safe than sorry. My back end is really flat, but with the racket, I started playing with more spin, which helped me have more control. The funny part is that I didn't even do it on purpose. It just happened naturally. All organically. Well, now I'm injured. Oh my God. Fuck you. <laughs> As I said in the beginning, the volleys, drop shots and slices felt incredible. Anything that requires touch couldn't feel better. Especially the jaw-dropping half volley winners that you're watching right now. Sorry for being so humble, but it's true. I'm being sarcastic there as well. Overall, since I'm using this racket, and I can't stop complimenting it, I'm gonna have to recommend it to all types of players, but you should really be careful to not get injured because it's a heavier racket than most of the rackets out there. Also it takes time to adjust to it. If you decide to use it, good luck! Guys, this is a golden point, three chepos. So watch the return. I have ice in my veins. I Guys, if you like Djokovic, subscribe to our channel. Alright, are you subscribed to our channel? Not anymore, I think. Yeah. Alright, why are you so sweaty? I know you met with a girl, but that was yesterday, wasn't it? It never stops, and that's the problem. Oh. It started yesterday. Epa! Alright, the racket, I really like this one. I was, I didn't know if to choose the black model or the white model, you know, I have both of them, but it doesn't matter, black or white, they're both good. No race, no race, FIFA. Yes, but this FIFA, is, no but this is, this is Speed Pro, you play with the Speed MP. Yeah, but all matters is the look, no. Ah. Okay. It's really good, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, let's try, let's try. First of all, the most important, I'm very sorry for hating on Djokovic in the intro. This might not be the most sincere apologies, but hopefully my lying skills were good enough. <laughs> Alright, by the way, need VAG of the boy! Moving on to the Head Speed Pro. I thought that this racket would be a bit different, aka worst version of my Head Speed MP. But it was a pleasant surprise to know that I was wrong. Let me begin by convincing you that even the most impossible stuff in life are possible. Because it's unbelievable that even I like the fact that the racket was heavier than mine. And that extra weight combined with 1820 string pattern gave me a lot of stability and confidence when hitting ground strokes. Especially on the forehands, as I was suffering a bit more when my opponent was hitting deep to my backhand side. Slicing was okay as well, 
as the ball doesn't fly away easily, so you have time to caress the ball like if it was your uh, baby girl, you know, oh yeah. That way, your slice backhands can be under control and well directed. Approach shots felt just insane, because even I didn't miss them and that's incredibly impeccably insane. Going forward to the volleys, I felt that the stability that I mentioned earlier was present here too. And the racket isn't that heavy, so the maneuverabilitation was good. Serves followed the same path as the other shots by feeling stable, with good direction, without compromising the power. Especially on the flat serves. I wanted a racket that was a bit more powerful than this frame. That's why I chose the MP version for myself. But making this video wasn't very convenient for me, as I enjoyed it a bit way too much. And now I'm doubting if my racket choice was wise or not. So thank you Speed Pro for putting me in this position and now that I'm so happy I just want to stop talking. So thank you and just let's go to the grades. What's up guys, welcome back to Gladiator to stand at Super Color uh, And also by Djokovic. We have two head speed pro on our review, right? Yeah. When is the marriage? Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like bad racket, bad racket. Yeah.